going any minute now. Okay, looks like the stream is uh, is moving. Uh, hi everyone, TigerHawk T3. Today I'm going to show you a game called Automobili Lamborghini in which you drive a Lamborghini. It's a racing game for the N64. Um, it has reasonably entertaining music um, and you can drive a Lamborghini. There's, you know, gas and brakes and you can steer uh, and you can set it to a, a mode with uh, automatic or manual transmission and uh, there are pit stops and sometimes a wall that looks solid is uh, not and you can drive through it. That's um, pretty much all there is to the game but I had this when I was uh, when I was a kid and uh, I had I had fun with it. There's not really much of a sensation of speed but uh, it makes it more exciting when you're trying to race and you go really slow and just go and it doesn't quite do it. So uh, let's see. No. And I haven't uh, turned that lower a bit. I haven't played this in kind of a while. Um, long while. How about single race? Uh, pit stops on. Let's do many fewer laps. Oh, three, six, nine, twelve. Uh, to 30. 3 to 30 inclusive um, in steps of 3. So there's the, the starting track. This one I think might have a shortcut. Or maybe this one? I don't remember that one. I think that one has a shortcut or like a parking lot or something. I think you can go through the parking lot. It's this, uh, this square I think is the parking lot and you can like drive through stuff in it. I don't know. And there's more tracks that I'm not familiar with. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six tracks. Ah, 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 six tracks. Um, so let's, uh, let's start with this one. You can drive a Lamborghini, or 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 you can drive a Lamborghini, and that's that's all. I think you can unlock some more Lamborghinis, and possibly a couple other cars or like Porsches or lookalikes or something. But there are other models. But this one is generally, I don't I don't know if there's actually any difference. It doesn't doesn't say it doesn't have any kind of stats. But uh, and I could do a. Uh, I think it's R and Z to shift up and down, but uh, I'm not going to use that. I will be driver one. That is me. Rumble packs. Do you remember those? Okay. Going to go fast for three laps. Oh, oh, oh dear. This game was developed by a developer that is a uh, developer, publisher, anyway, Titus. They're uh, not around anymore, I think. The uh, Watcher Tail, indeed. The, uh, the steering is a little um, all or nothing. Wow, exciting. Oh, I think he got turned around. He's going to he's gonna lose. Ooh, pit stop. Ooh, dear. That was bad. Okay. Tried to go into the pit stop. Maybe I should have uh, slowed down just a bit. See, this is 100 miles an hour, apparently. Is that 100 miles an hour? I don't know. Other games on the system include F-Zero X in which you can go very fast, and it feels very fast. And uh, Star Wars Episode One Racer, in which uh, 
goes so fast you can hardly see what's going on sometimes, especially if you, uh, if you turbo boost. That game certainly has a sensation of speed. Okay, I'm gonna... Where's, where's pit stop? It's coming up. Aha, uh -huh, now I can show you the pit stop. Go! So you have to hold it up a little bit if you... That's pit stops. Clear! That's, that's pit stops. Isn't that cool? And I went in last place. If you go on a very long race, this actually starts to matter. Because if you run out of fuel, you do not actually stop and, and lose. You just go like five miles an hour for, for the rest of the time until you get more fuel. Because, I mean, I guess they were like, what if someone runs out? What then? Well, then it should like say you fail and restart, right? I don't know. They made it just uh, not go very fast. But uh, now I'm going 200. 170, pretty good. Finish. I got last place because I made like one mistake ish. Not particularly forgiving. That's okay. Record saved with my that's a lap record. Anyway, yeah, this uh, oh, we've got hang on. That's a little bit too big. There we go. Happy times. Um, single race again. Let me show you uh, this one. Does this one have a... I don't remember whether that one has the shortcut. I think it's that other one with the square parking lot D. So on longer races, you can run out of fuel. And you can uh, wear out your tires. Go! That's a lap record! Look out! Watch your tail! It's very, uh, very Lamborghini. But, uh, when I can afford a Lamborghini, I'm gonna say those things all the time. Watch your tail! And roll down the windows and shout at people who are driving inferior automobiles, look out! And they'll be like, what? I'll be like, I have a Lamborghini, just like on N64. And that turn that I just did is the one that taught me about uh, having to open your turn. If you start on the uh, on the inside of it, you don't have enough room to turn. So you have to kind of start on the outside and begin your turn sooner. There's the pit stop dealie that it tells you about. It's pretty cool. It's right over there. Yeah, I don't think this one has uh, has any secrets. But I will go very slow on the the part that I mentioned previously that taught me things. It's coming up. It's coming up. Isn't this music fun? Okay, is it here? Yeah, this thing. See, if you start from the outside then you can go like this and already be like at a 45 degree degree angle when you uh... I know so you can start your turn kinda early-ish screech but if you do this as I initially did when I first started playing this game try to go around there there's a uh, see that's one trick you can glitch around the walls but if that doesn't work Sometimes it doesn't. You end up uh, not being able to turn enough and you smash into the wall ahead. It's bad. That taught me a driving lesson when I was 12-ish. Uh, so there you have it. Educational game. With the rocking soundtrack. Isn't this music good? I think it's good. It's it's pretty good. N64, it's good. I mean, there was, you know, there were games like Ocarina of Time. That's, that's pretty good music, I, I guess. I mean, but this is good too in its own way. This music is beautiful in its own way. Ooh, I was drifting. I have two clocks. One is set to local time and the other is set to Tokyo time, so I know when to drift race. 
That's a Penny Arcade joke. And I'm almost done with the race. Ooh, I need a pit stop. See, tires worn. Because I've been messing them up. Here, I will... I will turn horribly. And then I will go in the pit stop. It's the last lap. It really doesn't matter. So if I go all the way up, then it... It, it doesn't it doesn't work. So it has to be... Like, sort of, almost. Clear. Vroom. Cover, get in. Clear. Wah. So that's... That's that level. Maybe one more? Wait, no, 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 no. Not arcade mode. This one with... Is that a... Uh, where's the one with the shortcut? This one? That one? That one? Did it move already? Where's the, uh, this? I don't know. Let's do, uh, let's do this one. With the regular car. I'm driver one. That's me. Driver one. Default name. Imagine if, uh, I mentioned Ocarina of Time. If you start up a file... And it says, uh, instead of, you know, enter your name and you enter your name, it starts with, like, Fairy 1. And it's like, Kokiri 1. I bet there are people with uh, tattoos of that. Or, like, license plates with that. Oh, dear. Intense driving. And, of course, the CPU cars don't have to deal with the... Uh, control stick stuff they just you know do everything right sometimes an issue with driving games too easy to make a good AI like uh, a racing game for the Dreamcast uh, trick style in which you race hoverboards in the future it's pretty cool the controls are you know a little floaty <laughs> floating <laughs> but literally they are floaty because you are floating and you are uh, you are steering a hoverboard. It's floaty. That's how it works. Clonk. That's bad. It's right behind us. They're always right behind us. Or far in front of us. But, uh... I know. Of course they are. There's probably a button somewhere to get, like, a rear view dealie. I don't even know where the front runner is. Oh, is that him up ahead? In the yellow car. Um, so yeah, trick style. If you make one mistake at any point in a race, like if you slightly miss uh, a narrow entryway somewhere, um, shouldn't there be a fuel gauge over here? Like somewhere that I can see? Game seem to be, seems to be speeding up a little. That's weird. Anyway, but uh, in trick style... If you make some kind of mistake and you go clonk into a wall and like ouch and have to get back on your board, you might as well restart because you will lose. Guaranteed. You will get last place if you make one mistake. That is a punishing game. But I eventually beat it. The last level is very, very hard. I must have tried that hundreds and hundreds of times, hours and hours. Try to go a little bit up, fall off the edge and die. Try again. Get 30 seconds in. Oh, clonk into something. Other guy zooms ahead. The last race is like a one-on-one -on -one thing. Did I win? Did I win? Winner! Winner! First place! I get, uh... What, what do I get? I, I get position one. PTS. Nine. They couldn't put the whole word in. PTS. Points. Well, the variable is called PTS in the code, so we have to call it PTS for the player. I don't know. I did well on that one. Let's see. Is that? Yeah, okay, that was the third one. Um, what is this? I don't know. Sure, I will show you. But, uh, yeah, trick style is, uh, 
also good music, but a uh, very difficult game. Very difficult. But I eventually beat it, and it has like lots of training modes, and uh, you can even play like basketball. You collect like an orb, and then you go back to a central area to like put it in a hoop. It's uh, I think that was a shortcut that I missed. That's okay. Maybe the next lap. But it was uh, a lot of stuff to do in that game, and multiple um, uh, characters to race as with their own stats and multiple kinds of boards and this is better for doing tricks. Oh, you could do tricks also. Cuz uh, I mean, if you're on a board, you might as well flip it around, right? And uh I'm going 200 miles an hour. 200 is too fast. And uh that was probably another shortcut that I missed. That's okay. I don't really mind. I'm only in sixth place. Did they go in for a pit stop? How convenient. There's uh, there's no vehicle damage in this game. It does not occur. Oh uh, dear. Eye of the needle, huh? Oh, 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 it's going here. Let's see what's, what's up with that. Did that help? I really don't know. No clue. There's a car that I passed. Uh, turn more. Faster. Wow. Cool. Now I've lost. What the? Could I go straight? Thank you. See? One mistake. Spin around on the grass and then you can... You can kiss your chances goodbye. And that's on the second lap of three. One mistake and you lose. Some racing games are like that. Like this one and Trick Style. If you want a racing game that's way too easy, um, I believe it is called XGRA. Extreme G. Seriously? Really? I can't. Wow can't turn at all. Note to self, do not go there because you cannot go the right direction. So that's a very irritating feature. See, in Mario, if you do this, you go a little slower. But in this game, if you do this, you waste like 20 seconds not being able to face the right direction. Because you can't be like, you know, keep it in first and give it a little gas because either you're pressing the A button or you're not. So you have to, you know, full speed or nothing. This I can still race on. That's good. But I am far... Look how far behind I am. This is me. This is the thing I just went through. Look at this. Look how far ahead they all are. That's how ridiculous this game is. But, uh... Uh, uh, uh. It's like the grass is banana peels. <laughs> um, does not speak well for the off-road capabilities of Lamborghinis. I guess they're not really for that, are they? But uh, don't go there. Bad thing to do. Uh, the wall turned around. See, I don't know why it has to turn you around. If you hit a wall in, say, um, episode one racer, you you are damaged slightly. But in this game, you stop and you turn around and you lose like 10 or 20 seconds. Really dumb. See, when I was sliding around, if I were playing for real, I would have... Uh, uh, restarted. I would have been like, nope, lost that one, try again. But, uh, let's do that shortcut thing, I think. Or was that the previous one? Is that like the second, whatever? I don't know, let's try this one, see what's going on. Driver one is me.
Kokiri one. Ooh, it's foggy. I was saying earlier, if you want an easy racing game, too easy. Uh, XGRA for GameCube, possibly other systems, but I know it's on GameCube. Um, the Extreme G series involves like using weapons and upgrading them, etc. It's pretty cool. XGRA's weapon system means uh, the way they do it is... Really? I can't can't move at all. You died because you hit a wall going 200 miles an hour. No. It doesn't do that to you. Oh, is it this? Here we are. Ah, uh, see? See? Shortcut. And I still remember after... Um, how freaking long has it been? When I was 12-ish? Uh-oh. Wrong way in the roundabout. Oh my god, seriously? I don't know why it does that. Spin around like a top. Like, why would anyone want to do that? It's like in Mario Kart 64. If you hold B and then start pressing and holding A, you, uh, you go very slowly forward and there's a funny sound effect like you're sipping. <laughs> And if you try to turn, you'll um, rotate very quickly. But not really what I want to do at all times in this game. When I hit the slightest non-asphalt surface. Anyway, XGRA. You get a weapon thing, and instead of getting a specific one, it's more like... Uh, it's a little like Mario Kart, in that all the... Item pickups are the same, but uh, in XGRA, you can keep on collecting those items and upgrade your weapon. Do you know what the, the best, most upgraded weapon is? It is a uh, satellite strike. Yeah, you kind of drive up to someone and uh, get behind them and then you press the button and a laser incinerates the opponent entirely in one hit when they're at full health. Bzz, gone. And races are long enough and there are enough weapon item things to collect that uh, you can destroy everyone. Darn cars. If there weren't so many opponents, it'd be easier to win. But yeah, XGRA felt kind of silly, even as a kid playing that. It was like, I don't even have to race. I just kind of drive around with them and kill them all. And then I can, you know, walk to the finish line. It was a little, a little weird. A little weird. But it's, it's a cool game, though. Reasonably fun. Just a little odd that you can totally do that. and murder everything. So you made a couple of mistakes. And... Instant loss. It's like those games where... Uh, you take one hit and you die. And it's game over. And you start from the very beginning of the game. It's like that. Yeah. So that was th no 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 no. One player single race. That's the one I just did. There's this one and that. I'll show you this one. Might as well. Uh, driver one. Get ready. Ooh, palm trees. Vroom, vroom, vroom. We are driving fancy cars. I don't know if these other cars are like supposed to be unlicensed versions of other ones or if they're just like generic or if they got some kind of license and just didn't care to mention it in the initial screen or what. 
but uh, they are not the point of the game. I actually did unlock the other cars, but I think it was like with Game Shark or something. Yeah, I was one of those kids. Use Game Shark so I can see the whole game, hopefully. Yeah. I am not great at video games. I have more experience now, but uh, probably worse reflexes and less patience. I just want casual stuff. Ouch. A theoretical ouch. I don't suppose anyone can tell currently, but uh, I switched the cameras that I usually use. So I'm not going to be resetting the cameras for sync because the sync for my face will be correct. It's annoying when people talk and their mouth doesn't move and they're finished talking and then their mouth keeps moving for a bit. That delay, yeah. But this is just a delay on the gamepad cam now. That's where the delay is. And I'm not going to risk a blue screen for that. Is it just these cars in front of me, for real? I might win. Oh my god. I'm gonna win the race. I'm Tom Slick. I stand for American values. Remember that show? Tom Slick? One of the Hanna-Barbera... Um... Properties? It was, uh... Wow. Okay, never mind. Thought I could win, but no. I made an error, so everyone gets to pass me. Instantly. Oh, well, there's one more lap, I guess. But uh, it was Tom Slick, and it played with uh, George of the Jungle. And Super Chicken. Maybe these guys will get uh, pit stops. Who knows? I hope they do, and spend a long time doing it. Yeah. No, maybe not. He's just gonna stop next over there. Oh, he went clonk into the wall. Just like, just like I do, all the time. Er, I'm gonna keep this first place spot. Hopefully my tires are good enough that I can still turn. Screech! Screech! Very exciting. Am I almost done with the race? I don't know. I can't, I can't take my eyes off the actual, you know, stuff to see, to, to look at the, the map and see what's going on. Too intense! Too much Lamborghini! But it's not saying I have to watch my tail. So presumably my tail is doing alright. Come on, turn. Thanks. Does this feel like 100 miles an hour to you? Because it doesn't to me. I don't know. Maybe a F0 and Episode 1 racer spoiled me by, by being like, You're going 600 miles an hour. Oh my god, I won. I won again! Yeah! Great success. Because I am awesome with worn tires. So... There is quite a bit of delay on the gamepad cam. So, at about this frequency. I can see the, the preview and my thumb is in the opposite place each time. Uh, maybe half a second delay. Anyway, um, that's kind of the game. I don't think there's really anything else. I showed you the pit stop. Uh, you go like this to, you know, change the tires. Um, clear. That's 
That's all there is. I mean, there's a uh, championship. There's arcade mode, time trials, I guess, if you want to race by yourself without the other cars. And win every time, right? Championship. Standard. Why does it say standard? I don't know what standard means. Standard? Standard what? What is the name of that field? I don't know. See, we have race and one. Circuit. Oh. Now it says custom. Maybe because I changed something? Oh, standard means standard setup. I see. What What is this changing? I, I don't even know. Race and circuit. I, I don't understand. Anyway. Laps you can change, pit stops. Uh, I think turning pit stop pit stops off makes uh, makes you not run out of gas and makes you not have to change tires. Uh, reset. Go back. Uh, so that's that's pretty much the game. Um, energetic music, and you can go room room, and sometimes you can win. Um, but, uh, I think they, they cut out a lot because they wanted realism. Like, you can't really have, uh, Koopa shells, for example, powering those at your opponents in a Lamborghini game. It's not, uh, it's a, it's kind of intended to be a, a simulator sort of deal. Um, but they couldn't add some of the fancy simulator stuff like uh, like damage for example that episode one racer had um, um, so uh, no damage to the car no visible damage or useful damage like practical like you went clonk your vehicle is damaged you have to whatever I don't know um, but there is tire wear, I guess, and you can run out of fuel. So that's a basic programming exercise. Let's make a car object with some functions to, uh, to say drive so many miles if you have fuel and something to add fuel. And they made it into a, an actual game, which I presumably bought for money. I don't remember how much, but uh I bought my games new um, not necessarily when they were new when they had just come out but uh, but I didn't uh, or actually I did buy some used games for my Genesis from Funko land I bought uh, Street Fighter 2 maybe one of the Street Fighter games and uh, Mortal Kombat 2 from Funko Land. And I think I bought a FIFA 99, FIFA something for Genesis, um, from Blockbuster that was pre rented, possibly. I think that's about it. Um, but yeah, so I probably paid like 40 or $50 for this game. It isn't very splendid but it's uh it's something for what it is it's a little racing sim that's a little flat but includes a couple touches like the pit stop um but i mean i basically showed you the whole game in about half an hour so yeah it's a little too flat i would say um and i mean other racing games show that it doesn't have to be flat like um any of them, basically. Mario Kart 64, I don't know if it's fair to compare games to Nintendo first party titles because uh, they're Nintendo, they know what they're doing. They know what they're doing very well. Um, this game could have benefited from a few more details that I think they could have added without uh, ruining the simulator feel. 
like damage for example I don't know what they would have done with it but maybe just like a visual something I don't know but uh, I played it I enjoyed it when I was a kid I used Game Shark to see the other vehicles I tried them out they didn't seem any different or any better in any way but they were there um, so I drove and I did stuff um, it's really all you can do and that's really all I can say I guess um, so I think that'll be it for today um, more games not this one later this week because um, this one is, uh, doesn't need multiple parts like Quest did um, probably League of Legends maybe I don't know We'll, we'll see. Maybe something for Genesis. I don't know. I have to, to find my Genesis cartridges to see uh, which games I want to try. Uh, I still have my Genesis up, uh, up in a box over there. I don't know how well it works. Um, but I think the modern TV we have has, a, uh, has an RF input, like the standard coax. Um, it does not have S-Video which I found surprising. Uh, so that was fun, hooking up my Dreamcast, for which I had a uh, a new cable. I had an S-Video cable for it. I was going to plug it in. I was like, where's the S-Video? But then I found the composite cable, the standard one, and all was well. Anyway, um, that's it for Automobili Lamborghini. Uh, more stuff later this week. Uh, also join me for Python sessions, Python coding. That's the other thing I do on stream. So uh, good to have you here, and uh, I will see you next time. Have a good one.